What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel and in today's episode we're going to be talking about lower control arm bushings, in particular the RR Racing lower control arm bushings. I unfortunately don't have them to show you in my hand. These are actually the stock ones because they've been on my car for over two and a half years. So this should be a good long-term reliability um, review as well as how they change the driving dynamics of my car when I put them on, cost, where you can get them, and any other information that I think is um, valuable to you and you know may help you with your buying decision. I'm, I'm going to next sh show you a clip of what they look like underneath my car so you can kind of see how they can kind of compare to the stock ones, but I'm going to be using these for reference throughout this video. So um, hopefully you learned something and uh, let's get this review started. So there's the RR Racing Ultimate Steering Response System. That's what it looks like installed after two and a half years of being on the car and about 20,000 miles. See the RR Racing logo down on the bottom there. Here's a back view as well of what it looks like. So I picked up the RR Racing Lower Control Arm, or as they like to call it on their website, the Ultimate Steering Response System. And I compared it to the size of the stock one, and it is a little bit beefier than the stock one, which was good to see. But I think the main difference is the bushing right here. And um, theirs is a 95 durameter polyurethane bushing, so it's a lot more rigid than this stock one. And I saw that uh, firsthand on a video that they actually put up. I'm going to link it down below here. And it's a GoPro camera underneath the car, and it shows the cars doing, you know, different turns or braking. And it shows how much this actually flexes when it's, you know, just under normal driving conditions. And then they show their version that's, you know, not moving at all. So it's definitely a lot more rigid, and it, you know, it's going to help with the um, the steering feel. And so I uh, definitely, you know, know it's working and I know it's working because I actually tried it or I actually had this on my car, you know, when I bought it brand, uh, you know, almost three years ago and I went and took it on a mountain road that I am pretty familiar with and ran it up and down just, just to have a baseline to see how much this um, lower control arm was going to help. And then I ran it a week later when I had that lower control arm put in and it was a lot tighter. Um, the steering felt more, I guess, I, I felt more connected to the road. Um, the steering felt better, especially during braking, during turns, and just overall, it was a very um, confidence-inspiring feeling to have those lower control arms upgraded. I would definitely recommend this modification to anybody that is looking to get the um, a little bit better steering response from their ISF. You can actually get it on their website. Uh, the price is $348, I just checked right now. So I would definitely say that this is a good investment if you want to improve the steering feel and just the overall um, road feel that you get. You, you know, you will get a little bit more feedback from, um, from the road. And when I say that, I mean, you're gonna feel a little bit more of the bumps. You're going to um, probably notice a little bit of an increase in uh, vibration within the cabin just because you know that polyurethane is not absorbing as much um, of the vibrations from the road or just even the overall chassis as these um, as the stock ones were so you know you you will feel a little bit more but I, I it's really not that bad I don't think it's um, you know you know it's not going to change what you think about the car I, you know, I've, I've had it for two and a half years now, so maybe I've just gotten used to it, but, you know, I did notice it at the beginning, but after a while, it, it, you know, it, I couldn't, I couldn't even tell it was there. So the pros definitely outweigh the cons with this modification. And also it's supposed to help with the inner tire wear. If you're familiar with the Lexus IS platform, then you know that the inner, the inner tire wear is kind of um, uh, an issue that plagues our cars. And I won't say that it completely fixed it. I, I, I definitely think it helped. On this, on my last set of tires, I ran them down to the cords on a track day. And 
you know, so the, the, the insides were corded, but the outsides were um, maybe a little more than one thirty second of a of tread left. So, you know, not completely even wear, but pretty good, uh, pretty good wear. I do have negative camber on my car because I do have the um, springs in the front only. I don't have any, you know, camber adjustments or I don't have, um, you know, coilovers or anything like that. So I do get my car aligned every time I do put new, um, new tires on and, uh, or if, you know, anything crazy happens, hits a, hit a huge pothole or whatnot. So it's definitely not that. I, these are not going to fix the R racing ones. Are not going to fix the issue completely, but I definitely think they will help. So um, I really have nothing but good things to say about this uh, this upgrade. I really think that you should consider it. I, you know, it's not just for Fs. Uh, these these bushings I think will help even the um, the F sports. I think they fit most of the um, most of the Lexus cars. So definitely give them a shot. I know there are a couple of different uh, vendors out there that. That, uh, that make these uh, lower control arms. So you do have a couple of choices, but but I do think that the R Racing ones um, are, are very good. They, you know, like I said, I've had these on my car for two and a half years. They've held up. They feel just as good as the day that I put them on. And, you know, these are actually backed by R Racing's lifetime warranty for the um, polyurethane bushing in there. So if anything happens to them, you can call and you can contact them and they will um, I'm sure they'll replace them they're, they're really good guys to work with uh, you know they've done a lot for the ISF community so if you're not familiar with them please give them a, uh, a shot you know the, the website is rr-racing.com I'm also gonna link it down below so um, if you have any questions and if I haven't really answered anything on this you know quick review please let me know and we'll talk to you soon thank you